Hello and welcome to Clicker Plus, where we got two brand new LEGO sets, so stay tuned to find out more! If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So today we've got two brand new set images and the first one is a brand new Star Wars set which has been a lot of anticipation around and this one being a holiday theme set. If you haven't been keeping up with the details, it's set number 40658, this one titled The Millennium Falcon Christmas Diorama. It's going to be coming in with 282 pieces, so not the biggest set in the world, but it's going to be returned for a fair value of $30 or £26. It's going to be launching in just a month's time on October 1st, 2023. And this is something that LEGO Star Wars hasn't really explored before, doing kind of an actual set based around Christmas. Of course, every year we do get the Star Wars Advent calendars, but it's the first to be an actual licensed kind of Christmas set. As usually within the Lego range, we see these kind of non-licensed ones, like we saw launched today, with the gingerbread ornaments and also the Nutcracker. So it's definitely nice that Lego is now doing a Star Wars one. In terms of characters, you're going to get Rey, Finn, BB-8, also a Pog and Chewbacca. So really strong for the price, getting five minifigures, basically. I guess two of them technically aren't, but three really strong minifigures, definitely a good price point in that $30. But what is actually interesting about this one is it is scheduled to retire at the end of 2023 which is basically going to be a really short runtime on this one so definitely if you want to pick this one up i'd try and get it in october because i presume by the middle of november late november this one is probably going to be sold out and then it most likely won't return next year so they're doing something similar to what they do with the lego star wars advent calendars where they bring it out just for a few months and then retire it and bring a new one out next year which plan to suggest like we see with the winter village range next year we could get a brand new star wars christmas set every year and i definitely think with this one being popular that could definitely be the case you could do one off each of the films and it would be really popular so definitely one even I'll pick up as a casual Star Wars fan I'm sure a lot of you are definitely excited for that one then we're going to move on to the second reveal which is a brand new Disney set this one I think will be a little bit controversial this one has been the long rumoured 40613 the mini Disney Palace of Aragbar this one is going to be coming in with 506 pieces so a lot bigger than the other one it's going to return for $40 or £40 so not much conversion rate on that one if you look compared to the Millennium Falcon this one is going to be a good set in terms of a micro scale Disney display model but one big red flag with this set is what we've seen with the previous Disney Max skill sets like the Haunted Mansion and also the Mini Disney Castle as there always has been an exclusive minifigure in this one which makes it extra basically worth the price. This one like the others is going to be $40 so the same price point in some regions like the UK even more expensive and yet we're not getting a brand new minifigure in it which is a big shame but what you will see with the set is a really good striking display model. There's a lot of gold elements some pieces we haven't seen in those colours all too common or all before which definitely raises up the price. Also some printed parts as well i'm not sure if in the previous ones they were printed or stickers when this one definitely some great printed parts so as the overall feel of the set and you've also got that small black border like we've seen with the other disney ones of course in january we are also expecting Ariel's palace as part of this line but i don't know it just feels a little bit more like it's targeted at a different audience not having a minifigure and the box art does feel a lot different so the other two but in terms of an architectural point of view the set is definitely a good one i just feel like a little bit high at that 40 dollars price point given there is no minifigure and of course today we also got fish images a better look at the lego viking village this one coming in for 130 dollars or 125 pound for well over 2100 pieces launching on october 1st this one looks like an incredible set there's definitely a lot of excitement around this one there is a full video on the channel from the other day where you can check out all the images of that one and all the details and things like that but i think so far of these two official reveals for october pretty fair value on the star wars one it's nice to be getting some different christmas sets i think that the disney one definitely will be a little bit high price for some of you but i'm sure some diehard disney fans will be buying that one so that was two brand new lego reveals for today comment down below which ones are you excited for which ones are you not like video subscribe and turn on notifications for more lego news videos and lego reveal videos if you watch any videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and i'm bricking i'll see you all later guys bye bye